The high holiday of Yom Kippur marks the holiest day of the Jewish year. This is a day of atonement meant to inspire self-reflection and regret. Looking back at the year that's gone by, and as we enter this tremendously significant Jewish high holiday, we asked people out on the streets of Tel Aviv what they might be feeling regretful about. I think most of the people regret about things between friends. That's what Yom Kippur is all about, to forgive between people. It's not something very, very big. It's not something that uh, relates to nations or to political states. It's really about the person itself, what he feels in its heart. It's been a hard year because I lost my mother and I broke my ankle. And so I wasn't able to do enough for her, I thought, as I could have done because I wasn't able to do it. We're taking uh, our parents for granted. Uh, so sometimes when I'm, you know, angry, my mother is suffer from this, but uh, that's all. I'm trying to be okay most of the year. No, I'm sorry that I live in Europe. I don't think any Jews should live in Europe any longer. They should come here now. Sorry that we did not yet bring closer all the Jewish people to Judaism. Just about uh, 99%. For the 1% we're sorry about. I think that people are sorry for not living their life as they want to. I have so many friends that we're, when we're talking about our dreams, they, they're saying one day, one day, one day. And I'm saying, why one day? Now, this is the time now, live the moment, especially when you're living in Israel and Iran is in the other side and you don't know if there will be Israel. So I'm saying, live this moment. And I think that I have a lot of friends that are sorry that they're not living the moment. In addition to feeling regretful for all sorts of events that took place in our lives on a personal level, some people feel sorry for certain things that were or were not done on a national level. Last year was almost a revolution here and we feel sorry that the revolution didn't break through and we didn't gain what we want to gain, which is cheaper housing, which is more less taxes, uh, put the prices down on everything that we eat and consume, fuel, cheese, bread, rice, rent, housing prices, there is still much more things to do. The fact that we don't care about uh, people that really don't have enough, the poor people, the sick people, the unable people, that we really should give them uh, more. The world is terrible at the moment and the way people are behaving towards each other and so on and fighting and it's impossible. You feel frustrated because what can you do to help peace? You can't do anything. So I would love to be able to have done something, even one thing that I could have thought of to make a difference. I think Israel is the gate for the peace and the world waiting for us to make peace and then the peace going to be in the world. Actually, this is our mission, like the Jewish people all over the world and Israel, of course. For 25 hours on this Yom Kippur holiday, Jews are meant to fast, introspect, and apologize to God for having wronged others and for not having lived up to their own potential. At the day's end, the shofar's horn will be blown, concluding their prayers and paving way to a brand new year. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.